Howdy everybody, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to give y'all a generator update uh, because I finally got my uh, interlocked kit and everything wired up for my house. I powered it up and it runs uh, pretty darn near almost everything. So I kind of want to tell y'all what I did, what it runs or whatnot. So that there's my generator right there. And if you haven't seen that previous video, it's up there somewhere. Uh, so here is uh, my RV box or my outlet box. This is what goes uh, when I plug my cable in from my generator into my box. Now there is wired from that box and guys, all this stuff uh, is found in my Amazon link below my Amazon store. Go check it out if you got any questions about what I used. Uh, but essentially I take an RV cable, fire this bad boy up and I can plug it into uh, that outlet uh, right there. And then that is actually wired into my main breaker panel. So in order to make it work, essentially what it is, first things first, um, turn off the main breaker, right? I don't want any, uh, any power back feeding onto the grid. Fire the generator up, uh, hook up my RV uh, cable. It's a, it's a 50 amp um, to from my generator and then plug it in to my box. And then from there, I can actually turn on the breaker. I think it's a 50 amp breaker uh, that is actually um, dedicated to that box right there. Flip that breaker on and then I can start flipping breakers on what I want to use. Now, I actually ran, I uh, got this thing fired up when it was installed. And guys, I can run darn near everything in my house. Um, all the critical stuff that I would need, I can run. Uh, it'll run my appliances just fine, TV, fans, all that stuff. The only thing that it won't run is my AC. Now, I can get a soft start and make that happen. Uh, and it's not the voltage, it's actually the starting amps. Um, I actually tried it out and it overloaded, overloaded the generator. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, quite a bit of amperage overload uh, for that generator to handle. But guys, it handled everything that I asked for it to, uh, and I am pleased with it. So right now uh, I keep it um, topped off with gas. Y'all can see I've got some of my propane tanks down there. I've also got some gas storage and some jerry cans and some other gas cans inside my garage. But guys, also remember, if you had that siphon tube like I recommended, um, when a storm is coming or whatnot, you can actually siphon the gasoline. Make sure you fill your vehicles up. You can actually use uh, the gasoline that's in your tanks. If you can siphon that gas out, that's, that's an extra source of fuel uh, for your generator. So I'm very pleased with this. I'm very happy about it. I've also got a backup uh, little Honda generator that I've had for years. That's my emergency emergency, right? But uh, anyway, yeah, guys, that's how I have it set up. That's how I have it working. It does what I want it to do. Powers the entire house except for my AC. And that's, and to be honest with you guys, that is just um, that's a luxury, right? When power goes out, that is a luxury. Uh, I'm more concerned about, uh, can I keep my food cool? Uh, and can I basically be able to cook and charge stuff up? So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, all the links for all this stuff in the Amazon stores down below. Guys, be safe, be smart, be skilled. Catch you on the next one.